Hey guys, before the video starts, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel in order to win some awesome prizes. By the end of the year, if I can get to 500 subscribers, I will give 7 lucky winners a prize. Enter today by hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. Hello and thank you for watching The Wandering Wind. I'm your host Gregory and let's just get into it. Today we're talking about self-promotion and a lot of times with self-promotion um, many people think the spammy comments you find in different videos where it's like check out my channel it's awesome. We're not talking about that today. First of all don't do that that's really a bad move. It'll make you look bad and it really is disrespectful to, to the content creators. Second of all, there are much better ways to promote your content. Okay, so here's my five, ten, five top ways to self-promote in 2017. Number one is social media. What does everyone use on a daily basis if there's anyone connected to the internet? Social media. Um, and to be honest, you can find a new demographic, you can find your demographic on all the great platforms, including my top my top three, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, why didn't I mention Google Plus? Uh, no one uses it. Why didn't I mention other platforms? They're not as well known. But Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are the big three. And I'm also going to be tying these in with my next point. But first of all, with Facebook and Twitter and Okay, Facebook. Facebook, you can create your own channel, I mean, your own Facebook page around your channel. And then if you've got a lot of friends on Facebook, you can send them invites to come and like your page. And then once they like your page, they'll get notifications about new posts you make to your page about your new videos or other stuff for your YouTube channel. This is a big big way to reach out to your audience and to grow your audience, to be honest. And with Twitter, it's about pretty much the same thing. Um, you put out um, posts about your channel and you make them relevant to others, but you also use what are called hashtags. Now, on Twitter, hashtags are used to group related content together. And this is a big deal when it comes to actually getting yourself viewed on Twitter. If you're not using hashtags in 2017, what's wrong with you? Um, another thing, don't be afraid to reach out to people. Private message them. Um, if you see another YouTuber that's about your size, um, reach out to them, see if you can get them to help you out by drawing some of their audience over to your channel, over to your channel, or over to your Twitter feed as well. Um, but that is going to be going into number five. Um, and then with Instagram, oh come on, Instagram is videos and photos. Duh. I mean, really, post big. I mean, post the best clips of your newest video on Instagram. Get people interested and then leave a link. See how many fish bite. Because you know what? Social media is like fishing. If you use the right bait and aren't spammy about it, you can actually grow quite exponentially in just a short amount of time. It takes one, effort, two, style, and three, commitment. Um, my second my second step in the five step um, way to promote your channel in the proper way is to use advertising. Now, I mentioned before that this ties in with the other social platforms, and it does. Did you know that on your Facebook page you can promote a post for a dollar a day? People, in 2017, if you're not using at least $30 a month to promote your channel through one post, you're not doing it right, or you're not able to afford it yet, and that's fine. But do where you can, when you can, how you can, because 
In 2017, the game is even more difficult to get started in. Now, if you're already started, that's a different story. You're going to have a great time here. I'm having a great time here. But when it comes to promoting and growing, starting out in 2017, you really have to just pay to play at the beginning, at least for the first few months until finally it gain, you get gains back that make it worth it. Um, on Twitter, they also have a similar um, being able to promote your content um, advertisement scheme. And um, since Instagram and Facebook are, combi are integrated with each other, I think Instagram has the same thing as Facebook with a dollar a day and pay to play. Um, but with that in mind, you don't have to if you don't want to. The previous step is just as good as this step. Now, making it to number three, um, three and four are basically the same. Make great content is number three. Now, if you're using a subpar microphone and a basic webcam like I am, fine. But spruce it up. Use um, use audio editing to make your sound better. Make use video editing to make transitions. Cut out bits that don't fit. Make great changes. Add effects. Add lighting. Add mood. There are lots of ways to make your content ten times better without needing a huge, expensive setup. Um, a lot of times with the ambient noise in a room, you may not be able to tell that it's there. Believe me, the microphone picks it up. Use Audacity to take that out and then put your audio with your video. There you go. Done in one. Or, if you're like me and you have an audio program, I mean a, a video editor that has audio manipulation built in, you can use your video editor to cancel out the background noise. And to be honest, that is really the key when it comes to making your videos good, is making your videos pop and be the best you can possibly get them to be. And then publish. Always publish. Don't leave a video unpublished. Secondly, with that, number four is make more great content. Make great content, make more of it. That will drive people to your channels, your channel, like moths to a flame, like flies to a pile of trash, like, sorry people, like policemen to a donut shop. Come on. <laughs> You can learn to make great content. I've learned how to make better content. You can learn to make better content as well. And together we will grow to make great content out of nothing. And to be honest, that's the biggest part of the next step. You collaborate with one another. Don't do it all on your own. Don't try and do it all on your own. If you're, if you're getting so big that you need to make videos every day. If you used to make them once a week and now you're needing to do them every other day or every day, but you can't find the time because you're too damn busy or if you or you've got life that's interrupting, get help. Don't rely on just yourself. It's not worth it. Believe me, if you rely on only yourself, you're got you're gonna have only yourself to blame when you finally fail. And to be honest, this is the biggest problem that I see a lot of YouTubers having is not being prepared for the responsibilities to grow and for them to need more hands working. Um, get your family in on it. If your uncle is good with computers or if your aunt is photogenic or if one of your nieces or nephews are funny or if you're one of your siblings is okay, or whatever, or one of your friends, 
get people to help, but do it locally. But also, don't be afraid to reach out to your Facebook friends, your Twitter followers, your YouTube subscribers, and ask, hey, are there people out there that would like to help me out with this? Because you know what? There is a lot of free help if you just ask. And you don't have to pay them a salary, especially if you don't make one yourself. But, I mean, to, to be honest, it is just so good to have help when the work gets heavy. Many hands make light work. That's the biggest part. But part two of collaborate, step five, is collaborate with other creators. Um, if you find a creator <coughs> that does great music and you do great animation, smack, you've got yourself a music video. Or if you do great comedy and they're great at being a straight guy, you know, the not laughing at all, do a comedy sketch. Um, or if you're um, or if you're both gamers, play a game together over the internet. Do something that makes sense for what your genre is, and then also make it work to where both of you benefit. Because if you just go on a random big YouTuber's channel and say, hey, you want to collaborate? I want to get more subs. I want to get more views. Um, biggest problem with that statement is I, 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 I. What a lot of these bigger YouTubers are going to want to get out of it is something that also benefits them. Now, it may not be that you're going to be able to get them more views because, to be honest, <laughs> you probably, they probably already own all of your subscribers and viewers. But, to be honest, they also want to get something good out of it. Um, I know one guy who collaborates with people on a... On a good basis. Um, actually said one time he collaborated with a guy that just wanted to play a game with him because the experience was fun. It wasn't that he was getting anything out of it. It wasn't that they did something that he couldn't. It's just they both enjoyed the game. And that's all that matters is that you enjoy it and that you both benefit even if it's not in the same way. Now granted are you going to find people that are just going to be a bit stained office? Are you going to find people that are just only willing to collaborate with you because they're going to get the benefit? Yes. But to be honest, you need to be discerning about who you collaborate with, and you also need to be mindful of not being overly insistent with the people you collaborate with. I mean, with the people you try to collaborate with. So, in retrospect, what have we learned? Use social media to your benefit. Social media is your friend, especially the extremely cheap advertising services for Facebook and Twitter. I'm not so sure about Instagram, but I'm sure since Facebook and Instagram are the same kind of thing, run by the same company, they probably have the same kind of ad or advertising market. Second of all, make, well, no, advertising goes in with, <clears throat> second of all, make great content and make more of it. Thirdly, don't be afraid to work with others. Work with people you know, reach out to people you don't know, and ask them if they want to work with you. That's the best way you can grow your channel in 2017, and if you guys want you can even collaborate with me. I don't game. I do vi I do vlogging videos and I do limited gaming videos. But you know what? We can do shout outs for each other. I can give you advice. I can give you a channel review. There are loads of ways I'm willing to collaborate. And as long as I get a benefit and you get a benefit, that's great. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned a lot from this video, and until next time, this is The Wandering Wind, and I will see you guys again soon. Hey guys, thanks for watching my videos, and as always, thank you for everything you do for me. Um, if you like my videos and you want to see more of them, 
please make sure to hit that like button down below. It always needs some love. Also, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. It's great. I've got lots of stuff. I always upload every day. Well, almost every day. Um, and I always have new stuff coming right around the corner. And if you really feel generous enough, I really appreciate it. I have a Patreon link either up in the corner or down in the um, description, and I could always use a couple more extra dollars to help fund my future projects. Thank you in advance. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.